Hi, uh, most of you guys, or some of you guys, hopefully, maybe, have seen my video I put up uh, on my insulin pump, and um, I got a lot of positive comments, um, and I got a lot of, you know, messaging, texts, stuff, and uh, apparently it's something that's interesting, so, um, and, and it might maybe help other people who are diabetic to be able to explore the opportunity of, you know, insulin pump therapy as maybe an option in their case for improved um, quality of life. I mean, I know it's really helped me out just in the last few days. So, um, uh, everybody wants to know how do you stick yourself? How do you remove everything? How does the insulin go into the pump? You know, so I figured I'd uh, show you a quick video of how I attach the pump to my body uh, and attach the sensor, and how I also perform various maintenance items such as refilling the pump with insulin and so on and so forth. So, um, all right, we'll get down to it, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to remove my old infusion set, and that's basically the apparatus that carries the insulin from the pump to my body. So I'm going to show you how that comes off, and then I'm going to show you how to prepare to put new stuff on, and then I'll show you how the new stuff goes on. So um, stick around. Okay, and here we go. I do apologize for the condition of my belly, but you can't really see what I'm doing without seeing my belly. Okay, the first thing I have to do is I have to stop the pump because it's pumping now and I have to stop it so that it can know not to continue pumping and to start injecting insulin all over the floor. So what I'm going to do is stop the pump. Okay, now the pump is stopped and it won't do anything else until I tell it to. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the tubing from my body. This takes a little bit of effort just because my eyes aren't so great and the little tabs here are very tiny. But you squeeze them together. <laughs> yes, Carly. <laughs> Carly wants to be in on this. Yeah. <laughs> you squeeze these tabs together and then you can unplug this. And that's basically just a connector. It's a plastic connector with a needle in the middle that plugs into this, which carries the insulin to that needle, which goes through my skin. All right, now, that's done. This pad here is just an anchor. If the, if the pump is hooked to it and I drop it or whatever, it just keeps it from yanking the needle out of my skin. That would be bad. So I'm going to remove the pad. And it's very sticky. It's meant to stay on there for up to a week. So it's really strong stuff. And I'm really hairy, so it doesn't exactly feel great. Okay. Now this is the needle. I'm going to separate all the way around the adhesive. Which is, again, <clears throat> sticking to me. Alright. Now the adhesive is done. And I just remove the needle. Just like so. And as you can see, that's the needle that was in my skin. Now, what I have to do is dispose of this in my sharps container because it is medical waste. This tube here is not. It just comes out and gets thrown in the trash. Now, this is the sensor that continuously measures my blood glucose level every five minutes or technically my interstitial uh, glucose level every five minutes the white parts the battery and the transmitter array unplug that this is the charger stick it on the charger wait for the green light intermittent blinks means that it is charging the battery set that to the side now the hard part this is actually a cannula in there that's, that's plastic, it's not a needle, so it doesn't come out easily. And this tape doesn't come off easily. Mm. So bear with me a moment and I take no responsibility for my actions should I suddenly develop a case of Tourette's and start screaming obscenities. Okay, I'm almost there. Woo! Oh yeah. And there we go. Okay, now I just got a wax job, but you can see the little 
plastic tube that goes into my interstitial fluid. Don't look at the hair because that's gross. <laughs> but um, that actually sits below the skin and continuously monitors my blood glucose. That and the sensor, complete with O-rings and electronics, goes in the waste container because it is medical waste as well. Now, now that I have these holes in my belly, I'll just hit them with an alcohol pad. Okay, now I'm done. The pump is detached from my body. Okay, now time to get prepared to reinsert everything. What we have here, just really quick, is the reservoir that goes inside that holds the insulin. We've got the infusion set with the needle that pumps it into me. We've got this complicated thing that's the, um, it's called the in-light sensor. It's the uh, electronic sensor that I had. The pump is beeping at me, reminding me that it's shut off. And then, of course, we have the insulin, which I take Novolog. Novolog. Mm -hmm. And a few little other things. I'm going to test my sugar with my meter when I'm done. I've got this flappy tape thing that goes over the sensor. Okay, now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to unpackage this right here. It's the little tank that holds the insulin. Let's see. Okay. Now, the way you fill this up First thing you do is you pull out the plunger. It's basically like a little needle. You pull the plunger out because you want to inject air into this to pressurize it so that it'll come out. So got that going there. There's a little needle inside that pokes down through the seal on the top of this, just like that. Now the insulin vial is connected to the insulin tank from the meter. Flip it over, and then I want to inject the air into the vial like that. Now this glass vial is pressurized. And I'm going to fill it with not quite 200 units of insulin. So I'm just going to pull down on it, which will pull the insulin into the little reservoir here. I'm going to go down to about not quite 200. Now any air bubbles inside I want to get rid of because I don't want to be injecting myself with air bubbles. So you hold the plunger out, thump it a little bit, and then depress it just enough to get the air bubbles out. And I don't see any. What happens now is simply take this off. Now we have the insulin sealed into the tank that goes into my insulin pump. And this right here just snaps off the vial and it gets thrown away. The vial goes back in the fridge. Okay. Now like I said, we do have the insulin in the little tank that goes in the meter or the pump. I'm going to unscrew the plastic plunger and it just comes away. That's trash. Inside here is a little depression where the little, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's a little plastic piston in here that's driven by a stepper motor. And that piston will contact the inside of this plunger and in a precision way put the insulin out into my body. Okay, now that I've got my little cartridge full of insulin ready to go in the pump, the pump has to be told that I'm going to do that because it thinks that I still have the old insulin cartridge in and it says that I'm out of insulin. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewind the pump. And what that does is that will pull this piston, which is, can't see it from there, but it's sort of driven out in sort of a worm gear kind of configuration. It's going to rewind it all the way back to the starting point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, replace reservoir. It's telling me to make sure the tubing is disconnected from my body, and then press Act to rewind. And you'll hear it rewind here in a second.
And you can probably see it rewinding back into it. So. Yeah. Now while that's rewinding, I'm going to prepare the infusion set. And that's this right here. Okay, it says rewind is complete. Insert the reservoir and the tubing set into pump. This is the tubing set. Now it has a little needle inside of it too that punctures the top of this. So it just goes on, locks into place. Mm -hmm. That just goes into the pump mm -hmm. and again locks into place. Just like that. This has a little plastic cover on it, which I will simply break off and throw away. And it comes with a little extra cover in case I need it. Okay. Now what I do is I go ahead and connect the tubing to the infusion set and cannula that go in my body. And connect that together. Mm -hmm. And then on this right here, which is the needle, I will remove the blue needle guard. Add to my junk pile over here. Now, this tubing is brand new and it's full of air. I don't want to inject, you know, two feet of air into my body. So what I'm going to have to do is prime it. It's asking me, are you disconnected? Yes. Now I'm supposed to hold the activate button until the tubing is full. The way you know is drops of insulin will begin coming out of the needle tip. Okay, now it's filling the tubing. Now as soon as I see drops, I let go. There's drops. I'll let go. Check for drops. Mm -hmm. I see the drops. I hit acknowledge again. Escape if done. Do you see drops at the end of the tubing? Yes. Connect the infusion set to your body. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect this anchor pad first. And I've taken the liberty of shaving a couple of areas on my stomach so that I don't have the same problem with hair that I did last time when I removed it. All right, and I think I'm going to just put it... I'll stick this right about there. doesn't matter because it's just an anchor pad. And then I'm going to remove... I'm going to hold the back of the needle and cannula assembly. I'm going to peel off the sticky tape. And I'm going to insert the needle into my body and smooth it tight with the tape. Just like that. Didn't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I've connected the set to the body. I would like to just give myself a little quick check to make sure that everything's connected properly. So I'm going to inject just one tenth of a unit. Okay, and everything's connected correctly. Now the meter is done. Here in just a moment, I'll show you how I connect the sensor and transmitter. 
Okay, now it's time to insert the sensor using this Monster Zinc replica. <laughs> okay, now, with this right here, the first thing I want to do is, of course, get my trusty alcohol swabs. I've already prepped the other side, I just didn't show it on camera. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to find a spot that I want to put it. Thinking right about here would be good. Right about here. Alright, so I'm going to clean the area with alcohol. I don't want to germies inside me. While that's drying, let me show you the sensor. All of the electronics is in this little bitty wafer thin thing at the bottom. This tall tower here is the insertion needle. Mm -hmm. What happens is it will inject into me, it will inject the sensor into me, and then the needle itself comes out. So the only thing remaining in me is the sensor. Okay. Now, to install the sensor on here, the only thing I have to do is take this here, make sure that everything is good to go like that, and then I just place this down on top of it, like so. Okay, hold these tabs and pull off. Now the needle and the sensor and everything is inside here. You can't see it or I would show it to you, but but trust me, it's in there. Put it here on the skin. And when I press this button, it will inject the sensor below my skin. Just like that. Slowly pull away while I'm holding the button. And as you can see now, the sensor is in my skin. What I'm pulling out here is an adhesive tab. I'm going to have to press and hold for several seconds. Okay. This little piece folds out because it's going to be used to attach the battery and the transmitter to the sensor. All right now I'm going to pull this out. And that withdraws the needle from my body. I can throw that in my medical waste chamber as well. Now the only thing left in there is a little plastic cannula that will be measuring my interstitial fluid for glucose levels. Now the battery that I put on the charger a little while ago comes out. It will be flashing green to let you know that it is charged and ready to go, you simply snap it on here, like that. Remove the tab. Stick the mounting tape over the top of the sensor unit. Just like that, and it's done. Now, then I gather up all of my little trashy items, and I'm good to go.